Just saying that. And we're, we're live. Oh, all right. All right. Well, hold up. Welcome in. Uh, well, no, this is pretty epic. Why? Why? Well, this is, I, I hyped this up I today, but Posted this is coming out in the future. Yeah, you um, right as you can hear, we have the first episode with two guests. Whoop, whoop. And we are in a different location today, all those no, no Our video. Our third location. Uh, the new spot. We'll take, um, we should make like a little collage of stills of the house. Of hey, each room. Sh- sure, we and could do that. And then we can post it just continuously on an hour loop of just the three bedrooms. <laughs> 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 and our bathrooms. Yeah, Pictures like, of us. Ev- no, just each room as if it was like the listing photo. Like a Zillow <laughs> ad. Yeah, like a yeah, Zillow and ad. And just on an hour loop, it will probably be 10 seconds of photos just over and over and over again. Yeah, so <laughs> as you can tell, uh, the two... First, the two Two guests we have today, excuse me, is uh, Joe and Gibby. Welcome back, boys. What's Joe making now, his, dog? his third appearance. Joe, Gibby, give me a second. His second. second. And uh, second. the, the also, two highest, you, you, you can say it, you can say it. Well, you've already said it so far. The, the two highest viewed videos so far. Oh. I think they have about the same amount of views. Exactly. Yeah. Gibby has two yeah. more bit views. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, no way. Two more views. He watched Gibby. them three times today? I hyped it up on IG, Twitter, Gibby. If you, if you, the book. Somebody yeah. went right from your story and gave you two views. I put it on my <laughs> Snap story. Gibby I sent it out fucking, directly. Uh, Gibby uses fucking view farms. View <laughs> farms. <laughs> Some bots? I Indian email address in his inbox the Oh, my day, God. So. Real, bro, it's tough. Dude, my fucking seltzers right now are actually ta- duct taped closed by the store. <laughs> bro, that's a good transition. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a good that's ASMR. Awful. That's, that's awful. Yeah, that's sure, that sounded great. That's brutal. So that's a good transition because that's the next part of the night is that we're going into Bruins Game Seven. It's going to be an unreal matchup. Um, couldn't tell you more about that, about hockey, but about Hyped. that. Hype. Um, but no, we're uh, a lot of hype. What do you got? What do you? What are we all drinking? <sighs> Nothing. Uh, Drinking the blueberry royal lemonade. The royal lemonade. Joe, what do we got? Oh my god! A couple white claws. Keep it healthy, you know. (laughs) be screaming. I've never. We're We're clipping. I've never fucking seen this like a standard shaped can. They're always like slim cans. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ever seen that? Up, yes, bro. I have. Yeah. I got the uh, seltzer veteran over here. I got the Beano. Brand name like truly. Truly, yeah, I'll go fuck the myself. mango no. is fire. Original Spike Seltzer is the highest percentage. It's six percent. This is a five. Bullshit. Damn, you got skimped. How could you? I, w- I want a refund. Call him up, dog. That's, Do you know what percent loyal <laughs> lemonades that's, are? That's some stinky Nine shit. Nine percent. Gibby's gonna drink one and be blackout. You need to keep it in the middle. No, you no. Know, the the, the thing is, forward. don't do that. The uh, thing is, Gibby needs to put the other ear, the headphone on. We need an extra mic, and we do need a fourth mic. We do, this okay. is clear indication. Yeah. Well, we, you know, we need a few more subscribers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> if you want a fourth videos. mic, honestly, please hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Hit, you know, get the code. view count up. Share that. Share that video. Like that, John. Um, but Gibby, what you need to do is, you need to, if you can hear Joe, then they can hear Joe. That's a good me? rule. Can All right. Hear me? How's it sound? Good. <laughs> That's a good rule. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Boys, yeah. Uh, Yo, you know what I'm hyped for tonight? The, uh, what? The fucking game? The Loyal Lemonade. Not even just the game. <laughs> Clearly the Loyal Lemonade. David Ortiz is going to be on the big screen tonight. What do you mean? He's going to be in the arena? He's sending, <laughs> he's sending a, ves- a message to the crowd. No, he is not. He yes. Bro. Yeah. Yo, he yeah. got ran up on so hard. Yeah. They paid Bad. him 8K. $8,000 to kill Big Pop. To kill Big Pop. I was explaining this to <laughs> Doi when he got here. Or when we were talking about Oh, yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. So he goes, he's like, uh, all right, it doesn't have to be literally down my fucking throat, dog. <laughs> Whoa. I'm, sn- Whoa. I'm sniffing Whoa. the mic cover. Uh, but I was explaining to Doi that, or well, not not explaining. He, he was explaining to me that he got an ESPN update that uh, he was like, how much do you think? Big Poppy, like the guy, how much, they, how they, much hit was the hit they hit, man. Yeah, yeah. And he, and, uh, in American US dollars, and I was like five thousand dollars instantly. And he's like, whoa, because uh, it's it was like seven grand. Eight, I was I like, think. 
he's and he's like, I figured it would be more. And I was saying that no, because what they do is they do the no strings attached hitman because it's to send a sign. If they really wanted his brains blown out, they would have done somebody who's accurate and like does that stuff. And a they and pay, a maybe a faster. They weapon. pay a crackhead or a dolphin oh, SMG, and they pay him a lifetime's <laughs> worth of money because if you go buy seven thousand dollars worth of heroin eight, and eight, do no, it all, no, no, no. you die in a second. Oh Jesus! So yeah, you're that's what they AK, do. AK, yeah, I think is like. Hundreds of thousands of pesos. It was four hundred thousand. Do you hear the alleged 000. act? Yeah, but, it's still, but regardless, it's what still. he's saying is that that amount of money to the people that they're paying to do that is is, is unfathomable. Yeah, like it's it's more money than you could think of. Oh yeah, oh, for the them. Yeah, no, no, no. That's the person who's doing it. Yeah. yeah, that's why it's like that's the, why whether four hundred thousand pesos. That's ridiculous. Yeah. What's up, Gib? That's still nothing. Allegedly, I saw on the internet that David Ortiz. Was having an affair with a, with a, a drug lord's yeah. Yeah. girlfriend. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> that is not what you do in the DR. Why are you talking like why a you WWE? Scre- and, and why are you right screaming? Now? screaming I'm, I'm hyped. I'm too hyped for the Bruins. I'm too hyped. Hey, Title be- Town. All right. Well, if you're gonna be screaming, just keep oh, yeah. the mic away. I'm my sorry. Brother. I'm sorry. Yeah. The more, the, every time you're screaming, you're pulling the mic closer <laughs> to your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. To the audience. The complete opposite. Yeah. What you need to be doing? Oh. You're, oh my god, that's funny, dude. But what time is this? I, I have a uh, oh, seven minutes. I have a question for the audience. Have okay. uh, they're gonna answer yeah, right I'm now? Sure you'll get an answer for have you ever heard the sound of an Irish cricket? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, bro! You're about to get evicted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, really about to get I'm, I'm about to evict you. I've right never now. heard that in my entire life. The Irish cricket. Just open your beer like a fucking normal person. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm out here in the. Uh, I'm about to throw your shit out in the yeah. street. <laughs> I'm home tomorrow. You're about to, yeah. About to We're about to cause a scene too. So we should cause out. a scene, Joe. What we should do really is start throwing the shit out and just start screaming, <laughs> yeah. like just uh, all over the all over the neighborhood. Yeah. I can't really believe change, you've done this. Yeah, that would really change the tone of our house. I feel like to the neighborhood. We've met the neighbors and stuff, so like. Did you? Yeah, and I feel like we came across as three friends and not three lovers. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, you know? yeah. God, for, I never even thought of that. What do you mean? How else would it be taken if we're throwing Gibby's shit out? In a oh, oh, oh. I thought you meant just the fact that we live together. <laughs> no, no, no. What? No. I thought you meant <laughs> that like, everyone's instant reaction was going to be like, together. yeah, these guys no. are definitely fucking. <laughs> no. I mean, who knows, bro? It's 2019. Like... I, I mean, yeah, dude, but I I, I don't. That's what, I just thought you meant that people are just we like, had to, yeah, these kids are definitely gay. We had gay. to really show them. And prove that we were friends. Like, no, no, no. no we're I was just, just saying, I think it would be interesting for them to be, like, taking on the obvious assumption that, like, we're just three friends living in a house. And then all of a sudden, one day, yeah. one of the friends is being ostracized in a... <laughs> the most extreme yeah, way. Heinous yeah, way. Yeah. In a romantic tirade, like, on our, <laughs> on our front lawn. You know? Drop to the drop to our knees. I can't and, take it anymore, Gibby. <laughs> drop to our knees and plead to the sky. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Oh my god. I can't believe no one's heard that before. Dude. You no know no one's heard that before. What an Irish cricket? You uh yes. you ever heard of uh, an Irish cricket? I was I w- <laughs> did not know Where'd where you were taking that on Instagram. Shout out Jimmy Gall. The Nine Fingered Wonder. The Ninth Wonder of the World. <laughs> That's amazing. What a legend. Absolute legend. Dude, th- is this game gonna start soon? Why, why and why are th- why are these people on? Because it's like they, they Who got are you? News in this before. is Kate and Eight, dog. What time does the puck drop? <laughs> nah, those are the kids. Growing yeah, up. dog. This is years later. This Shout is Kate. Out. And, and now she's uh, what is she on a dating show now? Kate, oh my God, she is. Kate oh my God, she is. Kate, Kate plus, and date. Kate plus date. You can't oh make this God. up. You I can't make this up. I swear to God, I didn't know that before. I'm not gonna say to you, Tom. Oh my God. Reverse 2K, dude. That is amazing. I hope that God. wasn't too loud in the mic. <laughs> I called that. You saw that. What? I go. What is she on a, ga- a dating show now? Yeah. It pops up. Kate plus date. Oh my God. Give me over here, freaking throwing. Oh the no, yeah, yep. Me. Would you go on Snap? Yeah, a little snap action. A little snap action. Did you did you at least plug the podcast? No, it was a, it was a quick one, right? The Phil. God damn it, Gibby. <laughs> Hello, Phil. What? Just saying hi to Phil. Oh, hey, Phil. 
Yeah, we're uh, we're out here watching people put su- put sunscreen yeah, on. What is this? What aquifer? Is it on this channel? Yes. I'm pretty positive. E extra is so stupid. Could you oh, imagine? Shameless pl- oh, sorry. Continue. No, I'm just saying, like, they're in the middle of Hollywood, just like having a little news. That it's like the cheesiest news. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shameless plug of what, Joseph? YouTube TV. You get that shit if you don't have Dumb it. Fire. Yeah, it's fire. Yeah, see, right? 8 yeah, PM. you're right, dude. You're I think right. the puck drops at probably like eight thirty. <gasps> yeah. What are we doing? That's why. Yeah. That's why I was saying like that it was seven thirty six when we were when I was like, are we starting now? You, yeah. Oh, what idiots are we? Why? No, I, I don't know. Do we want to broadcast the game? No, not the whole game. You never know how. See how it goes. How this goes. Kawhi. Yeah. What about uh, him, Gibby? What about Kawhi? Hey, what about him? Say, yeah, you're just you're just saying what, one you word. You want something funny? You want to know something funny? Because you were the only one that wasn't a part of this. Gibby texted us earlier today, and he goes, "You have no idea <laughs> what I'm going to talk about on the podcast today." <laughs> and not not five seconds later, he goes, "I'll give you one hit." <laughs> dot dot dot. Kawhi. I <laughs> 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 go. <laughs> so, so you mean we know exactly what you're gonna talk about on the podcast today? <laughs> Kawhi, no, dude, just just like you'll Kawhi. never guess. Dude. You, could, you couldn't you couldn't guess if you tried. He didn't let anyone answer. <laughs> he just, just told like, us what it was. It's just like Kawhi, like, Kawhi, dude. Kawhi, Kawhi is a beast. Kawhi, did you do that? <laughs> originally said Raptors dude, in five. Come on. I feel like I jinxed him the other night. I, I can't believe home. they lost. I came home in the middle of his Michael. The Jordan only re- the yes. o- that was the crazy shit. It seems like we were watching a new Michael Jordan. No, what is wrong that. with you, Gabe? Almost. Yeah, that yeah, that was you funny in the W. Like what? Where's this announcer <laughs> shit coming from? <laughs> now it's like, you sound like Joe Buck. Yeah, yeah. It's like we were Joe. watching a new Michael Jordan. Yeah, he's a legend. He's a legend. Bro, Joe so Buck, this is, fire. This Joe Buck, so playoff baseball. To the meme like I sent it. you earlier. Oh yeah. So it's uh, based on the end. Of, <laughs> no, based on the end of the game, dog. <laughs> that fucking Kawhi laugh. Ka- it's it's uh, Kawhi, in the, Kawhi in the locker room after the watching the last shot. Okay. All right. I'm gonna turn it up. What the fuck is up, Kyle? No, what did you say? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? What the fuck is up? Dude, dude uh, like, first off, Nicolay is hilarious. Perfect but perfect with Kyle, dude. Yeah, Kyle, dude. The fucking fact that somebody linked Kyle. Up is just another perfectly executed meme. Oh, my. A meme. <laughs> meme. A me- yeah. Unbelievable. These memes. The memish. The dotish off bounce, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, that is funny. All right, yeah, I won't, you know. Um. Kyle. Yeah, fucking Kyle, dude. That's funny. I don't think we, I think we should do everything we can to suppress that photo of it being blocked, just to maintain how trash he is. Who? Kyle Lowry. What what photo? That shot was blocked by. Oh Draymond. yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, but I would like to suppress all those photos. Why? Oh, because you don't in like order him? to once again I say maintain how trash he is. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's so overrated. It's, it hurts. I don't even think that he's overrated. He's just poop like. I yeah, I think he's, but he's poop and people. He's been pretty solid dude, in these for playoffs. years. He had seven points in in game seven bro, of the Eastern Conference Finals, right? Bro, crazy for like years, that? dog. He he has been. It has been the Toronto Raptors with Demar Derozan and Kyle Lowry. Yeah. Watch out, and he's poop. Trash, trash. Dude, it's crazy. I just clipped that so bad. Mm. Whatever. But uh, uh, speaking of another NBA basketball player, this is, the the news is not. I'm not like. This is late on the news it's more just a funny thing mm-hmm. and a, a, a cool like what if fucking Tyreek Evans <laughs> yeah out for pot well yeah dude but also get banned from the league for two years but wasn't he supposed wasn't he like dude, the next for up pot. And coming- he's a cocaine addict is he yeah I thought it was for pot no oh. they don't give a fuck about pot they do when you smoke as much as Tyreek Evans <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's been busted for pot like ten times in a row yeah, but I think they're coming around. I wasn't he? Wasn't he supposed to be like the next thing? Was it? Didn't yeah. Wasn't his rookie season like <laughs> absolutely Kevin? filthy? Yeah, I mean he's <laughs> filthy, <laughs> but like he's just a long list of um, like what ifs, like yeah, I said, just terrible fall offs. Let's not even that was start on th- Sebastian Telfair. OJ Mayo. Oh, Bro, <clears throat> Sebastian Telfair 
was like supposed to be LeBron before LeBron. They so had was OJ document- Mayo. No, well, not after like this, bro. After. You got to see that Sebastian Telfair documentary, bro. He like it's ridiculous. He they were doing this. They started it when he was like a sophomore, I think. The documentary. Yeah. Why you can't hear me? No, I'm just too far away. Yeah, a little bit. But oh, okay. Let me keep going. Well, uh, the documentary. So I lost my train of thought. Sophomore year. It's just started. a ridiculous documentary. He was like the 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 ultimate can't miss player, and was horrible. I didn't know that. Look up Sebastian Telfair, bro. He was like the most. He's supposed to be like the next greatest point guard of all time. Played for the Celtics. Trash. <laughs> I actually have his Celtics jersey as like after I saw this documentary, like, and he was already established as not what he was supposed to be. That's funny. I heard today the uh, Celtics and Lakers are pursuing Anthony Davis. The Celtic, it, but did you see the? I sent you about Rich Paul. What he said? Yeah, dude. That's why I'm. That like, was crazy. It. I'll I read it. To, I'll read it to the viewers. Um, no ex- the majority of the podcast. Absolutely no. And did you see what? He said I'll they can they can trade for him, but it'll be for one year. If the Celtics tr- traded for Anthony Davis, we would go there and we we would abide by our contractual obligations, and we would go into free agency in 2020. I stated that to them, but in the event that he decides to walk away and you give away assets, don't blame Rich Paul. Yeah, and then did you see what happened two hours ago? What Anthony Davis said? What he told Rich Paul, get me to the Lakers. He's supposed to be on the Lakers by this weekend. Yeah. So by the time this comes out. Anthony a, Davis is apparently a should be a Laker. Wow. What are you laughing at over there? I can't say. Why? Oh, okay. It has nothing to do with what, what you're talking about? No. Oh, okay. No, nothing. In fact, it could have something to do with somebody who listens to the podcast, so we're going to leave it at that. Okay. Okay. Well, you are gonna well who knows that. who listens, you know? Well, yeah, but I mean... It could be all of any one of 200 people. <laughs> One of the the tens of people that listen to the yeah, podcast, the tens. but shout out to everyone that listens. Yeah, Thank for you. Real. I uh, hit that hit that like subscribe button. Thanks. You kid. know what to do. Give it a follow on Instagram oh, at Medoyan and Friends. Thank it's you. Here. Stanley Cup Thank is you. about no to start. Just remember. Did you watch that ESPN that clip like. I sent you of Michelle Beadle? Yeah. Yeah. What, what do, do they, they call that, Gibby? If it's not a beer, but it still cracks like that. Like when you open your oil lemonade, is it still an Irish cricket? I say so just because it's booze, but you know any individual can decide that on their own. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness gracious! <laughs> what? One loyal lemonade Who down. The fuck are Gibby you is today? hammered. <laughs> Bro, yeah, like, Gibby is, <laughs> is wasted. What is good, dog? I'm out here. I'm out here in the vineyard. So I'm having the car and I'm chugging your face. <laughs> what? A nice light ASMR. One, two, three. Joe. Medoyan's oh, out here drinking a bottle of wine, getting a little sheesh. Hell yeah, dude. I got it from the, the hills of Vienna. <laughs> yeah. A nice Pinot Grigio. Yeah. The uh, the the brand, from you the, ask? From the Delta region. <laughs> the, the, brand, brand you ask? the brand, you ask? Barefoot. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you hang out with LeBron? Top shelf. Uh, yeah, dude. Part of the wine club? Much, do you know how much this bottle of wine costs? <laughs> what? Who cares? Your whole your whole paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> How much was it? <laughs> Seven fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> your hourly wage. Yeah, dog. You worked one hour for this <laughs> bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's your boy Hope. They, pick, uh, they yep. pick the grapes right off Mineral Spring in North Carolina. <laughs> 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 right off Mineral Spring. <laughs> Hey, at least it's like locally grown and, and bottled, dude. From the Delta region. Like I said. <laughs> Delta region. Delta yeah. wine Delta, and more. Delta Thank fucking you. airlines. Our local shop, Delta wine and more. We love you. Oh, my God. Oh, good Lord. Bro, that dude with the <laughs> fucking haircut. The only from the, this is from the liquor store. That one dude for, with the haircut? From the liquor store, the cashier. Not the one dude. The only oh. dude who had a haircut like Pee Wee Herman or whatever the fuck his name <laughs> yeah, is, dude. Holy fuck. When I, I don't understand how to explain this to the people at home, like, without my hands. And like, <laughs> There's no video. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just so, just touch the mic. Just touch the mic. It's like yeah. it's Braille. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Just feel it in there. <laughs> this dude was completely bald until a cert, like a oval frontal hairline. And then out of that fr- frontal hairline 
was spiked hair, like, <laughs> up into a perfect point. Yeah. Not along the strip, but into a perfect four. A unicorn. And he was ringing the register. Point. Yeah, bro. Uh, it, it, was, it was like a comb over into a unicorn horn. Oh, my horn. God, dude. Damn, and if you be looking like that, that's the only job you can get. Be, like, bro, and he was taking like, that shit serious. It was, it, bro, he didn't just check my ID. He put my ID into the scanner machine. <laughs> I was flattered. Like, don't get me wrong, but. I was like, dude, it's not that serious. <laughs> it's not that serious. Yeah, I think he was just like scanning our shit it just because just we were being jackasses. Like, like You're just, being just, jackasses? Just to hassle us, like just to waste uh, 10 more seconds of our time. Well, he's go- not going anywhere, you know? Like, why not? Yeah. It's funny. Just to inconvenience us. Just because he's like, these kids, like, I'm going to do every step of protocol on them. Fuck them. <laughs> When does this puck drop? Uh, when? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Can't tell you. Yeah. This summer, the <laughs> puck will what drop. Like, bro? Yeah. Um, this summer, what will I discuss on the Medoyan and Friends podcast? <laughs> I don't know. Probably nothing of consequence at all. I wonder how people get those jobs. Like, how do you get into that business? Of being a, uh, like a voiceover, but for for a trailer, not even like a an actor. I for mean, you probably just have to be like born with that voice, so I'd be a voice actor. Those people, communication school, <laughs> go to, go to Syracuse University. You know, fall, fall in love with the uh, with upstate New York. He's giving you the roadmap right here. Have a lake house up there once you find your like, <laughs> what <laughs> your success as a voice actor. This is this, this is, is your a, dream. This is a detailed this structure. This seems out. a pretty specific. Find a nice little cabin. This seems thought out. <laughs> have you <laughs> have you thought planned. of this before? No, not at all. Just letting my mind run. <laughs> because I mean, you Syracuse did go to Hobart and know yeah, well, New York. The just giving people the ideas. School in the country. That's like, I'm just like more making fun of people who do that, and you know, it's like a classic. Damn, story. you know people who have done that same exact scenario. Uh yeah. Shit. I suppose. That's mad specific. Maybe not that same exact scenario. I, Skitty Atlas was just something drawn out of my mind. That was fucking weird. It just happened. What? You guys, like, exact same time, phone lit up from oh, two yeah. separate instant uh, messages. Damn. Um, funny story from uh, when I was walking to lunch the other day. <coughs> oh. Is he going to tell it? Yeah, no. I thought he was going to say something. Um, so I, I walk out of the gym. I walk out, and I'm deciding where to go. I think I went to Chipotle that day. But I'm walking around, and there's uh, a couple tour buses going around, um, just random as shit, with a bunch of, like, elementary school kids in it. So I'm walking down the I'm walking down the, the sidewalk, and it drives by, and, like, you know, all the kids are waving. They're waving at you? Yeah. Um, Look at this ugly-ass kid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> motherfucker. Um, but I'm waving at him. I, you know, I'm not going to be an asshole, so I give him a wave. But and then I, one kid goes, eat it, no, bitch. No, no. One, the, a couple kids in the back throw it up and hit the <laughs> wall. And, and, and so I throw it up and hit the wall, and they their minds were fucked. <laughs> Dude, they... they had like seen a Do you know the mind fuck? Dude, oh my like god. The kids who were on the bus in that little Uzi video. Yeah. I just been here like three days. I don't even know. It's like my first day. <laughs> Dude, ever, I, my favorite I've only thing, been here for like three days. My yeah. favorite thing on Instagram is every month it, and, and it's just like, yo, how's April been? I don't know, it's only my third day. Out here. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know, it's only my third But day they day post it here. every month, dude. It's so with, fucking with the funny, fucking dude. lollipop. Yeah, I don't know, it's only my third day. Out here. <laughs> But dude, these kids—I like, fucking yeah, love that video. They thought they were—they thought they were just like being mad funny and like they would have no idea that anyone they do that to could would do that to them. Yeah, and I hit, hit it back. back yeah. I hit it back, and they their faces were—it was priceless, dude. They were shocked. It was hysterical. Yo, how about Fortnite? Just absolutely ruthlessly does not give a fuck. <laughs> Good for them, bro. They're like, yeah, we stole the Millie Rock. Walk, the, the lock Drake it up. Dance. And the Floss Kid dance. You think we weren't gonna steal the fucking <laughs> wool here? Tough. Couldn't be me. That that's. Oh my I wish God. they were Good like it, it was Good better though. It's kind of a broke like animation. Can't do it exactly the same. Just Why like, can't they do it like 2K and get the actual people to do it? You know what I mean? They do. Then they're bad. 
<laughs> no, they're just doing a different choreography because I feel like they don't want to rip it off to the T. I don't know. Like saving face. Thank you, Gibby. Saving face. Saving face. Trying to while they make you know hundreds of millions off that shit. Mm. Literally in the store. In the item don't shop. To check the item shop tonight. <laughs> I've never heard that before. That's actually pretty good. Like, if you didn't deliver it the way you did, it, <laughs> it might have been. It I probably been better. botched it. Yeah, but the Irish Whoa. cricket, that's not bad. I've never <laughs> heard it. Creative. Jimmy Galt is a very creative kid. Wow. A creative genius. He's not a kid. He's 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> grown ass adult. He's a grown ass man. In the world. Yo. What? Mike, this is the kid I was talking about. Remember? Yes, I know who exactly who okay. you're talking about. Isn't exactly. that weird? Exactly. That this who moment you're talking just about. happened like that, like full circle on a totally separate commercial. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Synchronicity Any, at its finest yeah, right anybody now. Anybody out there, the, the, the next commercial was uh, Jason C's testimonial for Gillette Razors. Oh my He's God. a firefighter with sensitive skin and a lot of ingrown hair <laughs> and adult braces. Please, for your own good, look that shit up on YouTube. For the li- no, he's crying. Please, for your adult health, braces, yeah. look that and shit up. a lot up, of man. ingrown hair. Because, because it is a SNL skit, Stop. like two to a he, it, it's like we're in the simulation. Like, <laughs> it is too good. He, he cracks a little, like half insecure smile at the end, revealing just to the braces. reveal the braces at the exact moment. He's like, to, he's stripped away his insecurities of his sensitive skin. Like, it's all a perfect crescendo, bro. It is. It is amazing. It is good for Gillette hitting the like you know I went straight oh, into the fire I have a lot of ingrown hair this is a really good grade though demographic yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ yeah. I, I got really sensitive skin I get ingrown hairs all the time it's a really good razor it's a fantastic razor <laughs> <laughs> It's perfect. We should rewind it, honestly. Another oh. beauty of Oh, my TV. God. My question is... I just screamed into the mic. My, my next is, fucking... Uh, <laughs> White Claw? My question Shotgun. Is, for the Bruins. Oh, shit. Yeah, What's your next a, question? Can we get a few... Uh, yeah, can I talk, please? Oh, oh sorry. I, I didn't mean to be that rude, but... Um, he, he goes, my sorry, next question boy. is... <laughs> my Don't next question... Yeah, what, you, what the fuck were you talking about that Geico commercial? What? What guy looks like that? We weren't talking about that. Yeah, the guy you said this guy. No, I was saying to Mike. Um, Mike and I were talking about American Vandal. Yeah, good show. Oh my and God. I was telling him about. We were. I was trying to explain to him about a separate commercial in oh, which. Oh, you show me that. Commercial. Yeah, that that friend plays the exact same role as he does in American Vandal. He just just goes, uh, uh. yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> like that's all he does. Like, in in, in the commercial, and then it just so happened. He's good for you, bro. You, he's landed a new gig, and that's a totally separate commercial that he happens to be in. Oh my lord! But allows for the same effect because it was about the actor. Yeah. Yeah. What were you saying? Yeah. Do we have any uh, score predictions for tonight? Three-one Bruins. That's a good. That's a good prediction. I'm gonna go two-nothing Bruins. I, I'm real confident tonight. I'm going four-one Bruins. We got Edelman in the crowd. He's going nuts. Boston's going to be hyped. We, we got David low, Ortiz or really coming over the there. big screen. That's going <laughs> to be on, unreal Is hype. it on zero? Rask yeah. is going to play out of his uh, mind. Why is Gibby talking like this today? I don't know. Uh, what am I talking like? It's becoming a thing. Blue 3-1 Blues. Yeah. I knew, someone was gonna, be I knew at least one person was going to be negative. I'm a realist. It's so. just, it, it is home. You don't give that any, any consideration? That has been you think they're choking series. tonight? The road team has won the last three games. This is the first. Uh, Damn yes. Joe did his research. In I listen to Felga and Maz. I'm a man, Mel. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's just like an intro. Yo, I'll tell you when I sit down, but if you can't hear that shit. You can't hear that shit. He'll tell us when he sits down. Oh, my good Lord. I, gotta... I really hope Rasmus is Probably not. No. I just want to hear it. I want to see who's yeah. They really bring out Tim Thomas? 
No way. Not yet. It didn't happen yet. Oh, really? I would assume it happened. Wait, what was I going to say when I sat down? Um, What were we talking about, Mike? The kid from the Geico commercial? No. No? I don't remember now. A lot can happen in a few seconds, I suppose. <laughs> I guess Oh, so. Felger and Mass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I sent a whole freaking... <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I can't do it. But what? Burke and I send each other like imitations of callers on the show. Oh, bro. my God. And that's what one of those is, is a is a fucking uh, is a snippet of a caller that they throw into like the intro. <laughs> and they're like Anthony Maserati. I'm a man, Mel. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> and and then it's like it's like a Michael Felger. Eat glass. <laughs> and. They have, like, just amazing callers. But one was so good today, and I sent a reenactment of it to Burke, and he sent me, like, this shit back, dying, dude. He's like, Michael, Michael, Michael Felga, Michael Felga, Michael Felga. Dude. What? Just a quick update. You want me to do that? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. uh, also right. a quick My, update. Yeah, well. Kyrie Irving is changing agents. To Who? Uh, he just parted ways with his. No, I don't imagine. Know. He'd be going to the Lakers so fast. He probably will. That fucking coward. No, he's going to Brooklyn. Yeah, he's gone. No, the, the, he's gone. Don Yee. If you saw, if you saw his Instagram <laughs> videos the last few days, it, it could not be more obvious he's going to Brooklyn. Absolutely. The, the most recent one was like he might as well have just said, "I've signed with Brooklyn." Yeah, it was that obvious. So, can we talk about uh, sure. something about that? <laughs> sure. Actually, we we about sure can. To dive into the NBA again, as I am infamous for. Let's do it. With my 170 views I or came, whatever the fuck it I is. I came to talk. I cannot help but feel for D'Angelo Russell. Oh, yeah, what, too, dude? Bro. So I, he I can't escape a bad that. situation. No, dude. He's a free agent, thank God. But he's a restricted thank God. free agent, first of all. Yeah, because you. And oh. it's so just if they like, don't get Kyrie, they're gonna keep him no matter what. No, they're gonna. Nah. I yeah, don't they're, think they're, it, they're no, gonna match no, anything. It's that, it's that they have a chance to match. They don't, but he doesn't have to accept. I don't think. I need to look that up. How the how that works in the NBA. Jay Bomeister. No, but no, it was uh, yeah, the, the, the and and after he balled out, yeah, I just feel bad for the whole Nets team because if Kyrie is going to be made one of the only people to go there and just ruin that chemistry for yeah. no fucking reason, yeah. yeah, dude, that sucks. Like, it would uh, be so bad. And dude. I didn't even think that, but like, obviously before the season, I didn't think that would happen with the Celtics. But now that it has happened, like, I just feel so bad because like the Nets just that they were the most like. Uh, together team like their, their bench was the best i watched a bunch of games because james is a nets fan so like we watched like actual games isn't that the most surprising news in the world <laughs> james is a nets fan yeah big time nets fan <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> but uh, i actually didn't know but that doesn't shock me f- for a second i don't it's uh i believe it's it what it's nets nets jets and yankees for sure um, oh well at least he's oh so he's from that part of ct yeah um, hi James. Shout out. Oh my God. <laughs> no, not on James. I know. <laughs> fuck you, Hunter Morgan, uh, and everybody else from fucking Connecticut. I don't care. You fly by night bastards. That's funny. Um, half sheesh. in, half out. I no. don't know who to be. Am I New England? Am I New York City? Just decide. calling this them out. Deep, this is deep rooted hatred. Um, but anyway, where's this the big Nets. poppy video? Tobias Just Tobias decide. Harris Tobias what Harris to the this? Nets I think would be a good a good fit but I I think Kyrie yeah he's just he's going they years? have mutual interest how many years does he have left in, in on that None. contract he's a free what agent he's a free agent you gonna take a leak yeah. drain the vein Gibby's uh what couple what one loyal lemonade and uh, yo will you grab my keys Gib one Bud Light down All right. already well, breaking the seal I think that yeah. Gibby pisses probably 18 times a day. <laughs> you need to go to the doctor, Tom. <laughs> Get that shit checked out, boy. That's not okay. See, now it's a joke, but Gibby actually pees probably double digit times a day. Jesus, dude. That's tough. I take pills that make me pee, and I don't pee that many times a day. Like, that, that's... Look at that, pff, the flash. Damn, you that. got that horse bladder, yo. Excuse me. That was no, like, they're just CLA pills, you know, like classic, like water metabolism fucking, you know, just flushes your shit. 
Not your actual shit, like just your shit. I got as in yeah. you as a person. Yeah, yeah. I got what you're saying. All right, do we have to? We don't. We're, I mean, we don't have to be silent for this, do we? <coughs> no, bro. <laughs> Absolutely I'm, not, bro. If anything, I'm about to take a knee. Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> That's Honestly, funny. dog, I uh, really gonna, am, bro. You could take a E. I could take an E. Yeah, anybody e. who ever had a problem with him taking and Colin Kaepernick taking a knee for the national anthem, oh my god, bro. So you watch the game at home, you stand up, you take off your hat, put your hand over your heart when you're at home too, because you better be that fucking dedicated if you're really, if you really think that's some disrespectful shit. That's not even what it's about. Where's this Big Poppy video? And, this is our know, fucking it's CD. To come on, like as the puck drops. I think after this, dun, yeah, dun, a nice dun, little dun. message from David would be would be appropriate. From, from Dave, David, from Mr. Do you Dave, think it's gonna from be Mr. Him Ortiz. In the hospital bed, all tubed up and shit, like real yeah, raw the man graphic. just got. Uh, almost assassinated. Yeah, imagine, people, yeah, he was bro. like one of our great presidents. Imagine people have been gotten shot before. He, he's if he could there. make an airline flight, he could probably make a video standing up with a fucking. Imagine he's like go, go Bruins eating a D'Angelo sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> go Bruins. Steak go Bruins. Stay hard. Stay hard, brother. Brother. Yeah. I, I'm teaching tennis now, and I'm going through a lot of bulls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god That isn't We're on a lot of good commercials tonight And that is another one Well um, now I got oh, a mama, mic mama. in my hand um, Off bounce Off bounce But yeah we've had Dude there are some crazy commercials out there And I know we've already talked about commercials In other podcast episodes So I don't want to dive deep into them But some of them are just ridiculous Dive deep what? Yo Which ones um, Dive deep Which ones dude? Yo can I uh, So There's, uh, a dude, commercial dude. about uh, No one's hearing you what? No one's hearing you. No one, you can't hear me in that no, set. Not though. at all. Oh. What do you say? These saying? are shitty ass mics. It's just because we're so close. What do you? Mean? Oh, us as like people sitting next to each other. I what? don't. I don't know, but they're not like picking up well in here. Well, might be the room. I was gonna say. Um, Too I close. Think I've we sit right next to each other. To you <laughs> Stupid. Like in a non, <laughs> in a non fanboy way at, at all. Yeah. I wish that I could be friends with. Um, Ninja and Tim and Courage just to make one joke. Yeah. I told you about this. No, but that'd be cool to be friends with them. Just to cool DM people. them something Squad. and be like, be like, yo, how funny is this? Yeah. And it's about another commercial. Look up uh, Chipotle testimonials. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. 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 Chipotle oh, testimonials yeah, uh, with the name Carson. I believe it's Carson is the name. Bro, I want to send it to him and be like, Jack, I didn't know you learnt, worked at uh, Chipotle I've seen that. talking I've seen about Courage like JD, Kurt. bro. And it looks, oh my God, it is so, and he talks like him. And the guy, the guy from the background of the ad is like, so that's, that's all you do to the, to make your guac. And he's like, that's it, man. That's it. I, and it's just like, yeah, it, he sounds that. like him. He, he looks that. like him. Oh my God. It's time. All right. What, what Gibby? Game seven. The puck is dropped. <clears throat> All right, well, I really hope when this podcast drops... Semper our- Home Loans here. Oh, really? <laughs> um, I hope that this uh, this game co- you know, is in favor of the Bruins. The crazy thing is, by the time this podcast drops, the fucking parade might have happened already, too. That's, True. It I'll could be, be there. Friday. I'll be there if the parade happens. Bro, I, I hope to fucking God it's My not name Friday. is Tom Vincent Given, social security number 0386. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? You know his social security number? No, that is not my social. I only gave the first three numbers anyway. That was a, those are not correct. Not All correct. right. Well, regardless, regardless, I, I sw- if this parade is Friday, I'm not going to work. Are you gonna call out, dude? I'm not gonna call out, but I, but. All right. No, I I know. I'm just I'm over. I'm not going to work <laughs> if this parade is Friday. I'm not going to work. Just, are you going to call out? Say, no. Is that I've already gone train. through the the Patriots Never take the and train. Red Sox parades, dude, and it was miserable, dude. Bro, I drove to the Sox parade, pulled up ten minutes before it started. Me and Dr- me, Drew Manny, and a few of Drew's friends, we sprinted a few blocks. Saw it all. Yeah, that has nothing so, to do with it. it. Has everything to do with <laughs> the trains? Is a nightmare. No David video. Does, uh, I think it's coming at during an intermission for extra boost. But, <laughs> extra um, boost. Did 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 the Patriots parade sting a little more? No, it, no. You know why it stung a little more? Yeah. It had nothing to do with it being the Patriots. It was because the I almost got stuck in a 
a uh, stampede <clears throat> of people at South Station. I had to make a business decision and turn around and take an Uber. It was a two-hour Uber to from Boston to Natick. And when I got to Natick, the people that were waiting for the train that I would have been waiting for had just got on the train. They were waiting for two wow. hours. So oh. it, literally at that split second that I've decided to turn around, I either was about to get stuck in a crowd of people that I would not have gotten out of or make it out the back and get an Uber. And I thankfully got the Uber because, I mean, granted it was two hours. If I got stuck in that group of people, I would have gotten on the train in two hours. Okay. Well, that is absurd. Yeah, so that's the reason he has a problem with parades. <laughs> but no, but shout, but like I'm not. I, mean, yeah. I fully respect. Million Obviously, people, you know, dude. I've, I've talked to you about this. I fully respect the Patriots. Oh, and, it's not about that. That was just a. Oh, I thought. I thought. I thought that. I thought that's that what was just saying. low. No, it was. I'm just saying uh, it's low hanging fruit. You don't need to say <laughs> no, that you no, respect no. the Pats. What I, I'm I don't is, care. <laughs> what I'm going for is it would be dope if the city of Boston had three parades in a year. Yeah, that's insane. Should be faux. I'm not. I'm not. You fucked it up, Celtics. Yo, that brings me to I another agree. great, uh, great question that hopefully includes some nice stories behind it. Mm-hmm. What is the most expensive Uber you've ever paid for? I win. How much? Fucking like three hundred dollars, and I'll tell you why. What? Why? You won. Because, well, it was more like it was like two eighty. That's okay. fucking crazy. I almost paid two hundred. The the reason. <laughs> Is because it was eighty dollars for the Uber on New Year's Eve. Oh my God! And someone threw up in my Uber, and it was a two hundred. dollars Okay, seat. all right, but it was an eighty dollar drive. I'm talking That's, drive. Okay, well I've had a hundred and fifteen dollar Uber just the drive. Okay, because I had I had an expensive ass Uber because they said I stole a sign from the car. Okay, but that's not just and, the ride again. I know, but that's not the one I was referencing. Oh, okay, okay. The, I did steal the sign. <laughs> it was like a little Velcro oh sign that said, please close the doors gently. And the Uber driver was a fucking dick for no reason. Like, like I know, oh, I was like, oh, you're probably drunk. You don't know what you're talking about. Or you're probably being ridiculous. But I feel like I have a pretty good assessment of that. And it was, it was egregious. You know what? I, dude, I got in an Uber one time. So I stole the sign. I got in my car. <laughs> <laughs> at, late at night at, in Boston by myself and I get to Uber and I get in it and he, he starts it and he goes Natick and I go yeah and he goes oh I'm not going there and I'm like what and he's like yeah you have to get out and I was like Doug what the fuck are you talking about I'm in the car and he's like no nah, I'm, I'm not going to Natick they can refuse you dude and it's I was, fucked I was like for, he's like yeah you have to call another Uber and I was like, what the fuck, dude? So now every time I even remotely think it's a far drive, I get yeah. in and I go, hey, is this all right? And they're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> You've been scarred. I, and I'm like, I'm, and they're like, yeah, what the fuck do you mean is this all right? And I go, well, one time I got in and some guy's like, oh, nah, I'm not going there, dude. I was like, so now that's all I can say. <laughs> one time I... I took one home from Connecticut once. How much was that? At like 11 o'clock at night after one of Matt's basketball games. And? That was like 100 bucks. Why? Because our car broke down. Whose car? My mom's. So it was you and your mom? Me and my mom in the Uber, and my dad had to go, like, ride home with the tow truck. Wow, that sucks, Dick. Yeah. Gibby? I don't, I don't really stuff. take mm-hmm. many expensive Ubers. Ubers. Yeah. I'd say, I, I do take a lot of Ubers. Uber everywhere. I'd say, any given month, you know, I'm spending about. 180 bucks a month on Uber. Where? Oh, Where the no, fuck are you going with all this Uber? Close your mouth. And he goes out in Boston. So, like, he's. How else do you get around but Uber? <laughs> I Bro, Uber everywhere. What I was going to ask Mike, too, was because, like that, what uh, that trip, his Uber trip reminded me of was that. How many times? You came twice, right? <laughs> yeah, we we flew once, though. Oh. Uh, well, Mike, the second time. Mike and uh, I mean, shout out to my dad and well, obviously my mom, too. But my dad came to every one of my senior football games, which was dope. But the, tell me about a little bit about the drive down from Rhode Island to South Carolina, dude. It's awful. I've never not wanted to be like in a car for so long. 16 hours. 16 hours I did that. to Myrtle Beach. It's awful. It was I awful. Did South Carolina. I did fucking Charleston. Yeah. And you want to know something? Like, I didn't want to go my car, my mom's car for like weeks. Beautiful city. 
Yeah. Bro, the the best. Dude. I know what I fucked. I fucked up bad on that drive. Why? Also, before we just jump, is my most expensive Uber is like 180 bucks. I Ubered from like oh, yeah. South Jersey to New York City once after, oh. after the hunt, bro. It and it was ridiculous. It was shit. Dude. That is quite far. It was. It was fucked. It, it quite was quite far. It was not a good decision, but you know, you live and you earn. And you uh, do what you do. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> and uh, but yo, driving down to South Carolina, I drove. My boy Lucas invited me down. His family rents a house, like a beach house, down there every year in the same place. And we go on the drive. There's a part where you have to split and stay on the highway. You have to split and stay on the highway, or uh, if you if you miss that exit. You are led into the rural south of North and South Carolina, and you go through every small town through the entire state, and you like have to be on it for an extra 50 minutes to get back to the highway because it's so out of the way. What? And I fucked up because I well no in my fa- in in my defense I said. Whoever is doing the na or whoever is playing music needs to be doing the navigation so we can hear it over the music. And we had been going already for 13 and a half hours, oh and I God. missed the most critical turn of the drive. That's crazy. And it was actually wild because we went through towns that were two buildings and complete dust and, like, nothing inside them. That's unreal. And still people driving around doing shit. Like, it, it, was, it was a weird experience, but I messed that one up bad. You see any guests? <laughs> <laughs> Did I? <laughs> uh, nah. Nah. No gas. Nah, not gas. Not Aiden's either. No Aiden's. <laughs> no Aiden's. Oh, God, dude. Um, oh! South Carolina's dope, though. Hell yeah. Got great rooftops. That that teal turf was 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 pretty cool to play on. Mm. Doy. What? If you want me to do something. We should start uh, on that app over there, the hub. Oh, dude, we need food. The Grubhub. Grub, yeah, Grubhub. Because this should cheeky. we go to? Should we get Tony's? Where they where they treat you like a true gangster? Two hours later. Oh no! I, I yeah, I was like, we're gonna order food. We're gonna time it up perfectly. No, uh, yeah, I totally forgot until right then. My bad. Well, that's what we even said that we were going to order food live on the podcast as if it was some oh, like yeah. crazy fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> you, the, the listeners Dude, are going to be mind blown. It's going to be a little uh, wait till you hear this listeners. little mukbang. We're about to get <laughs> some food. Let me get that. I would recommend the Fed Hill wrap. From, from where? Are we getting big? Oh, what about the stuffed? Oh <laughs> well, the God. stuffed pizza from Sicilia's. Dude, that that shit is fucking disgusting. <laughs> there's a <laughs> what? yo. What listen, what about the stuff, dude? Bro, there's a this. there's a legitimate there's a legitimate amount. What? Oh yeah, nothing. I just I I'm just, in a ridiculous amount of uh, uh, there's a ridiculous amount of food options around us. What? No, I'm saying. Oh yeah, no, I know that. Oh yeah, no, I'm saying this. The amount of food options around us is insane. Is it? Is someone breaking in our house right no, now? Is that Phil? Is no, it sounds like a. It sounds like oh, a woman. Someone's next door. Someone's next door. Oh, uh, I thought it was Phil. New house. New house. We gotta get used to the sounds. We gotta get used to the sounds. The, the crack. Dude, I. I don't want to. Bu- no break joke. Anything. One of the first nights, I thought I heard someone yelling for me. Me too. I don't know. I thought I, I heard someone yelling too. All right. Well. Um, what were we just talking about? I have no idea. Food? Oh. Yeah, food. That's what it was. Grubhub service. We got oh, the Postmates out here. Yo, Joe, ask him if you want. Uber Eats. Uh, Joe, ask him if you want. Ask the little kid if you want. Who's who wants some? Our eat? next door neighbor. I, our next door neighbor is some uh, some mom. She's mad nice. Yeah. But she like obviously she's a mom, so she's got kids. <laughs> the, the kid, this, the kid to be a mom, she has kids. We, when we met him, he was uh, he was like, "You guys, you guys got a basketball hoop?" And we were like, "I mean, yeah." Oh he's boy, like, me too. We can play. And we're like, "Sure, kid." <laughs> but he's uh, he had a baseball game today, so hopefully he won. But um, food, yeah. Where are we getting big Tonys? 
We can go to Big Tony's. Joe. Oh no, Joe, Joe said. Wanted Harry's. Joe said Harry's Burger Bar, dude. That shit. Harry's is Burger Bar is trash. Gas. It's only good. It's if you're so bad. Trash. What five. are you talking about, dude? Trash. Oh, for the half win? off. Huh? Did he win? <laughs> No, they nope. didn't win. Yeah, no. Oh, like the socks lately. Why? What happened? Motherfucker. Oh, yeah, our front door. Oh, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not going to reveal that. Not, not only did he not win, it was a fucking tie, bro. Oh, now they tie? did. They led. They said, oh, it's tied. That's this, it. It's over. My they, God. The these generation these days, dude. Everybody wins. <laughs> no, we tied. And for reference, that I, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but this was baseball. So he had a baseball game today, and he tied. Well, shout out to the little kid next door. Hopefully, he played well anyway. Yeah, hopefully he had a few home runs. Unless they tied one one, then like you know that's just absurd. I then, gotta then, keep then going. They, then they really just went out there for a couple hours to stand around. Remember, people, smash, smash that subscribe that. button. Yeah, we're just gonna smash, smash it, dude. And we, check out the merch. Yeah. Oh, dude, yo, have you bought a Bedoyans and Friends no, T-shirt shut yet? Shut up, dude. What I what what I wanted also to have. I wore the shirt for a reason because I thought we were gonna have the video going. Uh, but we got the Manatees T-shirt going. Fourth of July special. Oh God. It's Bro, one, you, one we, of the gotta, best. we gotta at least flash a, a picture in here so that people can comment. So I'm gonna say right now, based on the picture that we are flashing right now. Should we bring the merch back? Bro, yes, 100%. I've been saying it's this. It's coming back. Can bro. you bring it Mike, back? Mike, Mike. What? Let me You're let me it, fucking I got I think I got teas for you. Let me get it a roll. No, no, not about that. I'm saying let me get a roll and I will fucking put it out there because that is actually a dope, very simple, classy what? logo. What? I like it. And what? it can be done a lot of things. What? It, I've been asked it, about it this a lot of different or, ways. Or that. Oh, I love yeah. these shirts. It's coming back, right? I do. We're, we're, we're trying to come, and come back. And it's creative as fuck. That, because you guys have a lot of extra fucking shit. Yeah. And I got a lot of it. But we'll, we'll at least flash it so that you guys can see some of the styles. But people, this is some dope shit. Right now, I got the white tee. With the American flag manatee logo. Yeah, it's fresh. Right in time for Fourth of July. And right in time listen, if you if you don't know, now you know. And what is it? How do you still do the five percent? We're nice. not in business right now. But you, but when, but when we that, are, yes, five percent. Five. All right. So that's my, too so, high. What? Too much, bro. That's crazy. You're no, bugging. it's not. People do way more than that. That is too much. Five percent. Put it at three. Five. That's crazy, bro. Five percent of you? Of what? Of manatees? Yeah. Net profits goes yeah, to the charity. Yeah, that's too much for manatees. I'm saying maybe other people do that because they can't. They got the profits. Well, anyway, a certain percentage. All right. Anyway, a certain percentage of the profits goes to manatee research and help because they are a in other in other causes in other causes in other causes related to it's a good cause and it's it's good uh, it's good it's it's good merch. So we'll uh, we'll flash it up on the screen. Um, Let us know if you think we should bring (laughs) it back. I mean, it sounds like it's coming back anyway, but it's good shit. Um, the Bruins are really you know I'm getting uh, I'm getting agit over here because they're almost they're almost there. Yeah, Miserable. they will win. In. Oh, let's go! Gibby. Christ, Christ in heaven, Gibby. Oh God, damn it! Back, back behind the blue Yo, line. Can't you, do offsides. Freaking back court. What's that? Do you decide? Are we doing Harry's or pa- Papa Tones? Papa, What's Papa, Papa John's. Pa- I don't know. Tony's Pizza Pasta Restaurant. <laughs> Big Tony. Definitely not Papa John's. No, I don't know what it's called. I forgot. <laughs> Papa John's. I think it's Postmates. Dog. Dude, what? <laughs> what the, the fuck are you I'm talking about? Postmates. You know the restaurant? Yeah, you know the you know the you know the other service app that we already use. Just go to bed. Get out! I'm gonna evict you, dog. What a chirp, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna straight up evict you. You guys want a lupito, like a burrito, quesadilla, California tacos. You know what I'm saying? A little, me- a little Mexican? You? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so, let's so where are you going to get Mexican phone. Big right, Tonys? Pull it up. Pull, you pull it up. You buy it. A little Chipotle? I got Chipotle today. I still have some, but I'm, I mean that. Are you sure you want a burrito or something like that? Is that what you're getting, Joe? 
I don't know. I, I want to see it. what you got. What are you pulling up? Young mates. Young Mr. Young mates himself. Young Mr. Mates. But what restaurant give you for crying out loud? We got oh, El Rancho God. Grande, La Lupita, California I've never been tacos. to any. I've never listen. I've never been. Any oh, those, those are places? places. Yes. Oh, those, I thought those, those were restaurants. I thought those were food items. Oh no, not, no, no. So <laughs> I did no, not know so. that. Get your fucking leg <laughs> off me! <laughs> I thought. I thought uh, the El Ranchero. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I thought those were all items. Oh, sorry. Well, Gibby, pull, <laughs> Gibby, pull one up, and then let us look at the menu. No, we never well, went to ATM. In my opinion. I know we didn't. We, we, <laughs> we weren't going to. Yeah, how are we going? No, tomorrow. No. California Tacos is up there. Yeah. I think that's, that's one of the best. I said that. Then I'd say El Rancho Grande is <laughs> right there, right next to California Tacos at a quick second. Well, listen, again, just let me look at any one of the menus. I might as well finish this, huh? I guess so, bud. For the Bruins. Hey, bud. <laughs> quit that. Quit that. Fucking whale noises over here. Sorry. Mm. Yo, you know what's mad fun like? <laughs> what? Men's League basketball. It's pretty fun. I just love talking shit. Fuck that kid last week. That league is so... People take it so serious. Bro, when that kid sat down at half court, I almost... I wanted to punt him in the face. Yeah, right? Bro, first off, I, I, I get it's just a men's league. I say that to people all the time. But don't... Don't ever sit down at half court at the end of a game. Why? As it... Bro, we're we're the, we're finishing the game and and we ended up losing this fucking game by like for 10. by like a couple points because this that kid did end up going off that one kid. Yeah. But Matt straight up dunked on this kid. I swear to God, and one and he had on like him. probably like twenty five points. Matt. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's beside the point. But what I'm saying is Matt actually dunked on this kid <laughs> for an and one, <laughs> and I personally probably had fifteen points on him easily at least. You ate his lunch. And he had three threes in which I was at the at the he, block. Alex left him open like they left Andre Iguodala open in the final game two. And go, all right, what? But Joe, so this I, he had two to three threes in which I was on the block. And at the end of the game, they're up by like eight points. This kid's on the free throw line, and he is sitting on the on the Could on the you half court fucking, line. You are you were dense, bro. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm sorry. Continue. No, you're continue. Good. But this kid's sitting down on the ground on the half court line while the game is still going on. Because he's like, because he's, he's a fucking he's like, loser. I'm too good. Yeah, and oh. he all, dude. The th- this kid deadass had two open threes and one cherry pick layup. Dude, like he didn't run down the court. He didn't run on back on defense. He didn't he run down. He just stood line. at the free throw line and then got a layup because he was standing there. It's a classic pickup hero. Pussy, bro, and then and then he had the audacity when we were like, "Yo, stand the fuck up, bro! Like, get the like, get out of here." It was like, "It's men's league, get out!" Like, yo, relax. He told he told Matt to get out of men's league because he's in college. Matt goes, "Bro, I graduated." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "All right, still." So funny, dude. And then Matt told him to come outside he's so like, we could fight. Yeah, him. Bro, yeah Matt, uh, Matt, 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 Matt wanted to fight the kid so bad. Matt was rallying the troops. Yeah. He had so some irk to fight this kid. That's 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 funny. That's, that's not like mad, no, it was right? great. I it was, was it, I was ready, but it was mad funny because as if you have ever been to this place, Rhode Island Indoor Sports, now called Teamworks, yeah. it's just so funny. Matt's just walking out of there like, off Jefferson Boulevard. Off Jefferson fucking Boulevard. The Boulevard. Yeah, but the the Boulevard of Broken Dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Counting sheep but running out. Oh my god. Dun 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 dun. I go for some Popeyes. On my own wow. again. Here we go. go. What did you say? Dude. My girlfriend? No. <laughs> what? Buy that today. what? Popeyes. Popeyes. I thought you said I thought you just revealed that you had a girlfriend. <laughs> Definitely Definitely not. Definitely not one of those. Definitely not. <laughs> what's it? None what's, of them ladies around. Who's this? What? What is that? I want to experience what, what's that, <laughs> Mike. We we get your girlfriend. My, Let's be Mike's honest, I'm good. okay. Yeah, Mike's good. I'm I'm straight. Yeah, literally and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm straight yeah, with that in- one. Interesting choice of word there. Yeah, 
love, yeah. uh, love you, ladies. Love you. Love you all. But uh, but he uh, on a mission. Exactly. A money mission, yo. Yo, what is his workout? Crickets, Lonzo's doing crickets. <laughs> crickets. He's getting ready for the Pelicans. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Right. So Gibby is indisposed, and you need to pull up that app. Or actually, I could do it. I could do it. I but would appreciate it. But I'm it doesn't matter. All right, all right, all right. What are we getting? I'm not getting La Lupita if I'm no, fucking no, ordering no, it. No, 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 no. Just, just look up. Just look up fucking whatever, bro. I'm down for Popeyes. Look up Harry's. Uh, Even though Popeyes? I kind of ate dinner already, it wasn't that great. Sorry, Dad. You, you knew it too. What he make? <laughs> you knew it too. <laughs> he did. He literally was the first one to try it, and he was like, "Damn, this shit is shoe leather." Only, only because I know Dad would never listen to this because he told me that. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. It's really not a big deal. I didn't expect him to ever listen to it, but I was like, hey, Dad, you take a listen. He goes, no. Good. Nah. But uh, <laughs> but there's nothing there's nothing funnier than when Dad puts something on the, the smoker for eight hours and it comes out not the way he wanted to, and he goes <laughs> off... <laughs> Just he like, brings out the belt. Dude, he, he, he just, he'll bring it in, he'll slam it on. What the, the what fuck? The fuck? <laughs> just, just time and money wasted. Yeah, oh my God, ribs, fucking bull park, anything. And, and it, he'll just fucking be like, get out. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Uh, but it's usually, it's all so good, dude. My dad's the best cook I know. Honest Honestly. To Honest to God. But it, like, <laughs> Sometimes. But he's he's self aware enough to know when, when that yeah. When it, he but he's up. also a perfectionist. Yeah. So he wants it to be great all the time. So if it's even one slighted bit off, or he was off by an hour or whatever, it's just it, that's it. Fuck it. That's it for the night. It's like the rib story. But yeah. Oh yeah. From uh, other from Joe's. Joe's episode. Um. Fuck, dude. This is a this is a hard decision. Is Harry's even on there? Yeah, it is. It's a little far. Not really, I guess. What Harry's? Yeah. No. On Fed Hill. It's a, it's a th- it says delivery thirty five forty five minutes. As it does everywhere, pretty much besides Asian food. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's pre made. You call them, they go, okay, ten minute. <laughs> and that's it's it. pre made. It's just sitting there. Yeah, it's just heated up. Oh, how about a, talk about a cringe worthy commercial? Duncan. Oh, this yeah. commercial. Who is that? Okay. Is he an actual player? Yeah, David Foster goes goes into the penalty box in which there's a Dunkin' Donuts in. <laughs> Gets an iced coffee while he's in the penalty box and then goes, Hey, ref, check out a voicemail. You missed some Ooh. goals. And, and, and that's it. That guy just hit his face on the boards. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a pretty bad commercial. Awful commercial. Hey, <laughs> hey ref, you missed some goals. Oh, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you, Popeye sounds absolutely. I love Popeyes. Fire. Let's do it, bro. Just pick. What about Onlyville? Yeah. Onlyville. No. That's uh, what I, I'm. I might lean towards that. Damn you! I do that. Have this place stinking. No, I don't know, just just fucking pick. All right. Shut up. On Fed Hill, I was a Harry's. I didn't go there too often, but I I did like that spot. But Venda was my spot. Get a yeah. nice a nice sandwich at yeah. Venda, a nice deli sandwich at Venda. Oh. Ever had one? No, because I go to Tony's Colonial. No. I'm not a poser and go to Venda Ravioli. <laughs> Their sandwiches are so fire. <laughs> Their sandwiches Venda. are so fire. Yeah. Ah. I've never yeah. been to the restaurant. And I'm not Italian either. I've never been to the restaurant. Ha. Neither am I. Ha. No, I am, though. That's the point. Oh. One of the best delis in Providence. Hudson Street Deli. That's a fact, too. Whew. The Italian there is the best in the state. It's not they even might close. Not have, they might not have the best deli meats of any deli, but they have the best sandwiches or some of them. 100%. It's all boar's head. Okay, but anybody can get boar's head. Yeah, true. But not like you eat. Boar's head Ooh. is like the gold standard. And get a little boar's head, huh? Right? Oh, boar's head. <laughs> Great meats. Great meats. Superior. We have the meats. For sandwiches. How long, how long <laughs> for sandwiches. I love how they edited that. Oh, we're over an hour. Yeah, easily. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. We're out here. We're getting hyped. We're hanging. It's still fucking zero zero right now, dude. The AC unit. Oh, we're getting the this. Unit. We're getting yeah. this delivered. Yeah. What yeah. are you guys getting? Damn, we lazy as fuck. Poop eyes. What really? the fuck is the difference between those two? Wow. The handcrafted tender combo and the chicken I'm, piece. I'm oh, because these are fucking Postmates, tenders. Like you kidding me? You like? idiot. You idiot. I don't know why to you throw can't, it. Bro, you're fucking yeah, throw up and I, I wasn't throwing up. Well, you Gibby, you threw up. It's okay. Well, <laughs> you had, he has no explanation. What, what were you, you doing? Pick? Damn. I hope that doesn't. That, that's definitely going to pick up. I, Oh, Gibby was taking shit. You think I was throwing up, bro? No, Gibby yeah. took a big fat poop. Dude, come a, on. A big man. little come stinker. In, in, in the Jack and Jill. Jill. <laughs> in the Jack and Jill. <laughs> Fecal matter <laughs> came from Gibby's oh, butthole dude, in the Jack stop. and Jill. Oh my God, that's, stop. That's a little. Dude, come on, man. The people need to know. Oh, no fuck. one needed to know. Is that a goal? Yeah. What was that? Oh, God fuck, damn man. it. Fuck. Gibby, all because we're talking about your shit, we missed a fucking goal, yeah. dude. Shit and shit. All right. Enough. What did you say just before that, Joe? I, don't know. I have no idea. All right, me either. <laughs> he was throwing up, dude. He was throwing up. <laughs> Gibby just doesn't want to hear his, his dad to hear that he was throwing up. Hold on. Are you ordering I only, though? <laughs> Are you? I feel like they can hear this AC. I really hope they can't. But if you if you if you can't hear the AC, I'm sorry. It's a little hot in here. Eh. Okay. Just talk a little closer to the mic, I guess. Yeah, so that's I, was, I was just noting that it, in Yo. the future it would, might. I was just noting that in the future it might have to come on. Yep. I All right. I'm out, of, listen, I'm out of line. It's, it's, We're building up a little steam. In I got it. you. If you're listening to this, can you please comment your favorite places to eat out in Providence? I'm done with you. I'm <laughs> actually done with you, and I'm ordering with Medoyan. All right, listen. Just looking for a few tips. The the views the views of Gibby Gibbons do not reflect the views of the Medoyans and Friends podcast. <laughs> 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 I'm totally kidding, but. Com- what are you? What did you just ask people to comment? The Yo, your favorite place? Do you choose for a spice level? Do I have to choose a spice? S- mild, mild is regular, and. Sp- I want tenders. I don't want no fucking. Yeah. Mild. Three piece. It's like handcrafted tenders or whatever. <laughs> the tenders a bomb, dude. No, you know what's the best? The biscuit. Really? I'm, I don't like the biscuit. I'm not a biscuit guy. I'll take you guys had Chick Fil A right. breakfast. I'm not a I'm not a brisket. Why else do you go to someone like that if you don't want the biscuit? For their amazing tenders and fries. I love Popeyes. Blasphemous! I tell you. Kill yourself. No. That was harsh. That's harsh. Okay. Have you had Chick Fil A breakfast? Yes, it's the best. We're, you were telling me about it. I told you about it. Yo, ch- uh, anyone listening that has not had Chick Fil A breakfast, listen up. The obviously the chicken sandwich breakfast with the egg and shit is bomb. They have a bomb sausage and egg and whatever sandwich. But listen to me here. It's the fire. No, no, no. They have these things called the the chicken little thing that what I, like no what that's you KFC. What? Barbecue. What did you get for sauce? Barbecue. I got black and ranch. Is it fire? Yeah, Which it's one? on fire. What's in it? It's Black and ranch. It's ranch, but it's it's like Louisiana ranch. What's the what's the Mardi Gras mustard? I don't fucking know, dude. It's all Louisiana shit. Yeah, not shit. <laughs> it's, it's all good. that shit Louis- means stuff. Louisiana, Louisiana shit. stuff. Louisiana, Louisiana. Listen, I'm what I'm the trying Mardi to say mustard. is, what? <laughs> I, for, I forgot what I was talking. We got stuck on sauce. Well, me, me and Gibby were talking about it. You just talked about it. Wow, well, you are something. Huh? You are something. Me? Chick fil A breakfast. Chick fil A breakfast, you yeah, idiot. Chick fil A breakfast. Bro, I just finished a bottle of wine. So <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to crack open another oil. A nice cricket chirp. Go on. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want a nice. <laughs> People, do you want to hear the no, sound again? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I wish I was on video. No, but the Chick Fil A breakfast. Just to bring it back, they have the little chicken nugget things, but they put them in All a right. cinnamon bread. I'm my you like What'd you bucks. get? Couldn't tell you how bomb I it is because I got the tender it's, meal. It's I got some biscuits. Extra biscuits? It comes with a biscuit, bro. What, what the fucking shit? How much money is fucking? What did you spend? I spent what twelve dollars delivery fee. I spent twelve dollars. Yeah, right. I know you did. Who's so been to Junior's Providence? 
That's crazy. Don't put a tip amount. They have. There's fire, a delivery fee. Fried. fried oh, that's bullshit. Cheesecake. Do ten percent, bro. Well, it doesn't give me the option for that. Literally. What do you mean you custom option? In, yeah. The Bruins fucking so suck. Bad. It's only one Damn. nothing. Let's go. <laughs> bro, is that much money? Oh yo, we're picking this up. Dog it. That's not how it works. It's fifty dollars. So what? For Popeyes? You gonna do a third of that for me? Don't I? How do I owe a third of that? How is it? How, like, is it what it's was ordered? It's fifty dollars. What's the delivery a, fee? What does it come to before that? The, it's thirty five eighty six before all of that. But then it's a three thirty nine estimated sales tax and a delivery fee of six forty nine. So how is that fifty bucks? And then then there's a, a tip. you have to do a tip. Put zero. Yeah. All right. But it's still gonna be forty five bucks. It's still yeah. That's yeah. crazy to fucking Popeyes. Does it book. make sense though? Like, does it not add up? I it don't does. Understand. It does. But the, it's that's just, so it's, much money it's for just Popeyes. Ten dollars in fees. So that's what I'm asking. It's it's yeah, it's a third of forty five. It's gonna be that everywhere though. So I, we could go pick it up if you want. I don't care. No, but if you don't mind doing that, that's fine. It's what we owe. I don't. I'm not worried about it. All like, right. If it adds up and it makes sense, then that's what we fucking owe. <laughs> I, don't know I thought that's say. what you were saying. I thought you were like, no way, that's forty five. I'm no, I I, cause that doesn't, cause thirty five plus nine is not fifty dollars. That's why I said that. It's yeah. no way it's fifty. No, bucks. but they make you do a tip, is okay, what I say. Well, Did you do zero? Them. Fuck you, yeah. Grubhub driver. You're not getting a tip. There's a delivery charge. Exactly. That's my tip. And they also, you don't have to sign anything. You don't interact with them. They might as well leave it on your fucking porch. Every delivery driver from an app that I've ever used. Literally doesn't say a word to me. Hands it to me. Doesn't even but respond. My, to my, my thing is just night. like I used to go to Popeyes and spend nine dollars, and it was forty five. They How, just but what threw do you me get? I probably spent the least amount of money. You did. Yeah. What do you What do you get? A three piece tender. Okay. Yeah. Um. I swear to Christ, if the Bruins oh, lose tonight, yeah. I'm gonna be mother freaking pissed. What? If the what? Yeah. If the Bruins lose, that'd be oh, the Bruins that'd be, can't lose. That would be game. booty. This is a must win. Oh really? Is it this game is a seven? Must is a must win? Is it? I didn't I've never know. heard that before in sports. If they score right now in the oh they my god, they again. did! Wow, that was nasty. The Blues did? No, oh, dude. They're fucking flakes. Oh, it's tough. It's the first period, dog. Bro, but two goals in a hockey game is it, not. Uh, that's a lot nothing. of goals. It's most dangerous lead in hockey, though. What? Two zero is the most yeah. dangerous lead in hockey. So wow. is twenty eight to it's three in football. Saying. It's just a thing. Because you get lax a days ago, and it's not fucking... It's easy to give up two goals. That was nasty. I you know, know what? Once you get two, if you score two unanswered, you're, like, after, like in response to two unanswered, it's usually... That's hard. A third is coming. You know what I noticed is close to here? A Newport Creamery. Who cares, Gibby? Just fucking... I'm a big shit. Newport Creamery yeah, guy. It is fire. I love Newport oh Creamery. <laughs> Monday. Monday deals. Monday deals. Awful, awful Mondays. And the chowder bread bowl. Their chowder is good. Bomb. Gonna, really? Their chicken Caesar wrap, one of my favorite things on this earth. The clam chowder from Newport Creamery. It probably <laughs> comes in. <laughs> it not be good. It comes out of a that's bag and it's, like it's gas. McDonald's is actually really good food. I love McDonald's. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't trust your palate. I mean, you just <laughs> got McDonald's the other night, dog. Would I ever vouch? And what did I do? I threw out half of it and gave Gibby the other sandwich. Oh, you went to bed. Great McDouble. Great McDouble. I didn't know that. But yeah, it was disgusting. I walked in. I I said I had a a McChicken on the way home. I instantly regretted it. Why do you get chicken from McDonald's? Who gets chicken from McDonald's? I said a McChicken. I didn't like that. It's just a a normal thing. Like I would never get chicken from McDonald's. That's not their strengths. Nothing is their strength. It's fucking. Burgers Butter McChicken from McDonald's is bomb. Burgers what? That's are their a strength. Basic ass thing. When I go to McDonald's, Dude, I got a normal. I might get Chef Hose. I, I, I get McDonald's probably once every, like every like three Chef months. Hose? What? Have you like Chef never. Hose? What? I probably get McDonald's once every like three to four months, and I and I get Damn. it. And I do I make chicken, uh, double cheeseburger, and fries, and that's it. Just all the classic McDonald's items. I would just never vouch for it as any type of good food at all. 
I'm not saying it's necessarily good. Okay. I just like it. I'm not. I'm but did, I know. I know. No, no, I know. I know. I want to know. Did you like grow up on McDonald's or no, were you? No, because that okay. is some we, fucking. We, that's okay, like we something. Did. We did. That's crazy. Why are you raised on McDonald's? Not, not raised not on raised it. On, right. Just like, we it's like the, that was a fast food of choice. Like my parents. It's just a. It's a nostalgia effect. That Taco Bell. Taco Bell is bomb, dude. But I'm just saying, like, my mom loves a a Coke from McDonald's and. That's because they, fucking they double give cheeseburgers with only onions, syrup, bro. What? They give McDonald's different Coca-Cola syrup than any other place. In cool, the world. it tastes fucking fire. It's and they good. They give them different coils and all this shit. But regardless, it's just our life experiences, that, and just, it's bomb. I, and I'm saying that I don't trust someone's palate who, who I mean, vouches for the clam that. chowder at Newport Creamery and also McDonald's. Is good food. But if you tried Listen, it, you'd be like, damn, this is good. I'm not saying it's top but notch. But if you tried real clam chowder from like a good ass Dude, place, we're not I'm, saying what that. I'm not saying it, that I, know I would it's cheesy rather food. have yeah. Newport Creamery I know clam it's cheesy chowder. Food. But I'm saying if I went to Newport Creamery and got I would the clam never chowder. order clam chowder at Newport Creamery. It's good. It's fine. It's, it's fine. That's what you say about clam chowder. That is what I, my point is. In, a, in in the, in whole, it's like good for it's, like cheesy food, it's like fine. That. I don't know. It's, yeah, but it's uh, it's also just you don't a personal order opinion. Something like clam chowder when it's just fine. I I like I, it. I, I like enjoy it. it. I enjoy it. I, and I'm saying I disagree. That's all. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. You don't have to like what <laughs> I like. Seem fine to the Medoyans over here. No, but I just feel like you're attacking me for liking it. Like, dude, it's it's. I'm just. I don't it's, trust it's, anybody that likes it. I don't. I wouldn't trust the. Palate but it's okay somebody, that you like it though. I wouldn't trust the power to somebody. That's not what I said. Let's run the tape back. I wouldn't trust the power to somebody who you just thinks said that it it's right good, now. Who thinks that? Yeah. That You're Newport saying it. Creamery or Newport Creamery clam chowder is, is good. B- bro, but I'm not saying it's the best. That's your I, opinion. I, I just go to. Yeah. And it's like, hey. That's all it's Clam chowder in a bread like bowl. Clam chowder. I'll eat it. You know what you're getting. Bro, the Oyster Bar in Providence a is a is a top notch seafood restaurant and gets their clam chowder in, in a, a bag. bag. <laughs> like, I, and it's good. Disgusting. That's the standard. Though. But you would, no one really would know. No one has. No one knows. You would not know if anyone went to Providence Oyster Bar and likes clam chowder, I they would g- order it. But no one would know that it comes from a bag. <laughs> I kind of gotta call Chef Hose right now. You have to call them. Yes. Why? Because they deliver without Postmates. Why do I need to use Postmates? You're the one screaming about Postmates 20 minutes ago. <laughs> what do we got on this bitch? We're probably uh, at like 115, 117. That's not even bad. Do we want to wrap it up? I'm done. I don't care. Boys? I mean, we... Yeah, well... Yeah, we, we could. We could wrap it up. Yeah, we can wrap it up. We've been going for a little while. I think this has been a good episode. Yeah, just some, yeah. just uh, just hanging out, bantering, friendly banter. Yeah, yeah, we're out here. Um, it's been a great time out here again on the Medoyans and Friends podcast. Probably, it's- probably by next episode, uh, <laughs> Gibby will be evicted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Um. Sheesh. Uh, you know, it's been a good episode. We're uh, it was a good trial. Why run with in four the people. motherfucking Christ is Charles Barkley on the Bruins? Thing what right is now? he doing, dude? Okay, then. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You know, we couldn't find a why hockey is he star. here? We couldn't find a hockey star for tonight, so we went with uh, an NBA star. <laughs> but it's not even like I know maybe NBC is part of the TNT network, but like, what the fuck? Are you wrapping this up? Hit the like button. Hit that like button. Subscribe. All right. Well, Gibby started up. So this was a good trial trial run. Trial trial run. Trial run. Trial run for four people. Might have to get a new mic. Might have to get a new mic. Did I say five? No, you said said four. four. Oh, no. But uh, no, to help us get the fourth mic. (laughs) Yeah. Just hit the the subscribe 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 button. button. Share share the podcast. Like it. Like it. Yep. Comment something. Leave a just. You know what? Like we said last time, put a period in the comments. And press space bar and then enter. <laughs> I don't care. Just put a comment. Say something. But if you made it this far. Oh, fuck. If you made it this far, I got two good songs for you. Shit, yeah. I got to come up with my song of the week as well. Boys, right. you got anything? Songs. They definitely do. Joe definitely does. He showed me one today that was, was I mean, bomb. You definitely have one. But regardless. Does it matter I, what genre? No. no. Gibby. What we do is uh, at the end, we've just started this little, little uh, segment where if you make it to the end. You get a little gift. You get a gift of a banger for the summer. No. 
Add it to the playlist. So I do have two. Sheesh. Um, the first one, I definitely know of. Because I can't think of the other one. But the first one is by Young Thug, and it's called Icy. I-C-E-Y. And mm-hmm. that shit is an absolute smacker. Yeah. Very underrated. It's on an album that only... It's more of a... It's on an EP, actually. So there's only like five or six songs on it. And it's just kind of on there. And it's 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 dope. <laughs> so Icy by Young Thug is my first one. And I, uh, I... I'm forgetting the second one, to be honest with you. But if I had to guess... I think I was going to talk about the new B.O.B. song. It's called Magic Number. He's got good flow on it. It's a pretty good song. Um... I'm, I honestly am not remembering the other one I was going to think of. That was two. No, I know. That's what I'm thinking. But I don't know what the second one was, so I'm going to go with that one. So I'm going uh, Icy uh, by Young Thug and right. Magic Number by B.O.B. Joe, do you have one? Uh, Your song of the week. Uh, Crash by Schoolboy Q. That's what Thank I was you. hoping you'd say. Gibby? I got a, uh, a sneaky two. I got Big Boy Talk by DJ Khaled, you know. Good song. Off the okay. new album. It's, it's pretty fire. Yeah. And then I'm going a little country over here. I got Luke Combs, Moon Over Mexico. Great artist. I've seen about 20 country artists live. Big names. I think he has the best. I'm going to a country, car, a country uh, concert on Friday. Ooh, stinky. Um, my song is um, Ad Libs 2 by Jay Critch. Good song. So, all go. right, y'all. Well, thank uh, you again. Yeah, thanks for that. Yo, always thank you for listening. Uh, as Gibby has mentioned multiple times in the podcast, subscribe, <laughs> uh, like it, comment if you'd please. Uh, but again, thanks for listening. This was uh, a pretty, uh, pretty special episode bringing the boys on. Um, Let's get it. you know, we'll be getting more of the double episodes, more people back that have already been on, and um, yeah, just let us know what you're looking for. But Again, this has been in the Medoinson and epi- uh, the Medoinson and epi- the Medoinson episode. I was thinking of two things: the Medoinson and Friends podcast episode, I believe, seventeen at this point. Yep. Uh, with you know, friends numbers, what the fuck ever. <laughs> but, boys, thanks for being on. Yeah. As always, this is the Medoinson and Friends podcast. Say it one more time with uh, Mike and Alex. Peace. 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 Peace.